marching, marching in the beauty of the day. A million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill of scray are touched with all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses for the people here are singing bread and roses bread and roses current president of the AFL-CIO at that time Bernie Brummer asked me if I would be willing to take a stipend and work and do some communications work and some organizing administrative work for the new retiree council. Irv Neff was president then. So um, that's what I did, and I'll talk about the communications part of it because it was fun and it was interesting. We did a lot of different things for a small organization. Um, we had a project where we put together some cable advertising that we actually paid for on cable television stations involved studying where the most union members were, where the most u older union members were, so that we could kind of concentrate advertising in the areas where we um, would get the most bang for our buck, so to speak. So that was one of our first uh, contacts with TV. And then we had uh, a cable, community cable um, pioneer person, Mike Kodjleboy, who had been doing a uh, community cable show on veterans issues for a number of years. And so he was key in helping us put together a community uh, cable show called Voices of Experience, which at first was an hour long. And it, over the years, we had to transition a lot of things. It got shorter and so on and so forth. It went down to a half hour. But while we were still within an hour, Herb was able to organize uh, us to have a show that featured Vice President Mondale and Governor Arnie Carlson with Marsha Fleur as the moderator, which was our coup Voices of Experience segment. So that was another thing that we were doing. And while I'm talking about the cable TV thing, that uh, went along strong for quite a while, and um, Mike passed away during the time that was going on. We got a successor. We shortened the show to a half hour because attention spans were not lasting for an hour at that time. And of course, attention span has been an increasing problem that we have to deal with as we go along in the kind of communication that we take to reach people. So we had to transition away from the cable, uh, community cable TV. Um, and the reasons for that were kind of manifold. One was that we had no idea whether we were reaching any particular number of people, how many people, so on and so forth. It involved a lot of administrative work to get the tapes out to everyone for the community cable. And while, you know, we could find guests, we it has to have a crew, and it was a constant pressure to be finding a crew to work the show. So we made a transition to electronic uh, kinds of uh, media, which has now been through YouTube, short videos, and now we've gone from a half hour on that to three or four or five minutes, or if we're doing a really good job, two minutes. So that's what the decreasing uh, scope there has been in the communications area as far as the um, electronic media. We're in another transition now. We're going to be trying to emphasize pace Facebook and other types of media that reach out rather than having the YouTube where you are waiting for people to click on you and watch you. With these other things like Facebook, you can send things out to anybody who has said that they like your posting at some point, and so that way we can get much greater exposure. Then with the video efforts, uh, we had the Voices of Experience uh, TV program for, for 10 years, and Martha Johnson has, has talked about that. And we morphed into a YouTube format, uh, which we used, and the last campaign, uh, uh, 2016, uh, thanks with, to the help of Rodney uh, Anderson, we uh, did over two dozen uh, YouTubes. And now we'll be looking to the, f to the future with, uh, with future technology.
At the same time, we've had a similar transition with the newsletter that we were working on. When I came to work uh, with the council, when I say work, <laughs> I mean volunteer work basically, although got a stipend for part of it. But anyway, um, Ron Cohen was the first editor of our, what was then the Go for Retiree, which was just a back-to-back two-pager. And we had that up to eight pages. Um, and we still are doing a print. It's now called the Retiree Bulletin, a print newsletter. But, um, and we do it back in the day, I think, I don't think, I can't remember how often we did it at the beginning, but it's more often now. We do it six times a year. And um, we have in the last year transitioned to an electronic newsletter, which is where we put out a piece that has just short paragraphs, and then people click on a link into our print retiree uh, bulletin or into other places like Workday Minnesota or the Alliance for Retired Americans webpage and places like that so that they can just read a short summary if they want or they can read a long article if they want by clicking and we know just how many people have looked at it we know just how many people have clicked on something that we had in there so the accountability is much great so much greater so those are the kind of transitions we've gone through over the years of the communication um, aspect of this. Also, our communication efforts have been through the, the former uh, Go for Retiree uh, newsletter, now, now the Retiree Bulletin, and we present some serious articles on public policy issues uh, so people understand uh, what it is that they're concerned with uh, about and why, why they are voting the way they do. And second big big effort uh, is the workshops that we have put on. We have put on workshops in the past uh, and uh, presently, uh, thanks to the research of Buddy Robinson uh, in, in Duluth, uh, we have put on numerous workshops throughout the state on Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And we are still still doing that. And of course, uh, at our recent uh, state fair, we have, we have been involved the last few state fairs uh, on senior day with, with uh, State Retiree Council kiosk, which is, has enabled us to talk to people uh, and to listen to people uh, about, about issues.